This is my neighbor. <laughs> We've been neighbors for 20 years. Pretty much. I'd say probably 15, 20 years. And, uh, and he's just a regular guy. He's a retired school teacher. Yep. Wrestling coach for you guys. Wrestling eight. coach, you know, active in the community uh, as yeah. much as you want to be. Yeah. <laughs> my, yeah. yeah. And uh, just want to ask you about, you know, going into the caucus, are you going to be a, a are you going to go to the caucus? For sure. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to attend. My wife and I both will be attending. We went to the last one as well. So, yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, we've gone, maybe now, Karen didn't used to really go that much. And, and uh, I've gone to the last probably at least four or five or whatever. But um, the last time uh, we both caucus for the same person. I think the same, the time before we didn't or something, you know. So it was kind of interesting. This time we'll probably not be uh, doing the same necessarily either. So, so is there is there a, a, a group of people that you're looking forward to supporting or is, is there actually, a certain person that you don't want to support? So I actually am leaning um, towards Elizabeth Warren is, is the candidate that I have kind of, and, and it, this is just a um, kind of recent that I decided to, to kind of um, support her and stuff because um, I initially when I looked at the whole field it was so massive you know um, I wanted to kind of do them you know, justice whatever to try to look at their positions on everything you know and see where they stood and, and if that kind of jived with where, where I stood and so forth so um, but uh, part of my feeling is that years ago when she came on the scene um, one of the things that she she really tried to do was support the middle class and I'm a very strong advocate for the middle class. That's that everyday kind of guy, you know, that we talk about in the moment. And so I, I really uh, got that from the stuff that she was talking about at that time. So um, right now that's where I'm leaning, you know, uh, is, is towards supporting uh, Elizabeth Warren. That's that's the plan anyway. Yeah. You know? Unless somebody can <laughs> convince me otherwise. I don't yeah. think. Is, is there like a backup? They, if if, if a oh. Warren only has like, you know, if right. you just show up the and then there's 15 Bidens, are right. you going to? Yeah. Are you going to stick with Warren and be? And we'll see what they have, have to the say. Vote? We'll see what they have to say. But um, she's, you know, she's the one that I think, like I said, that from what I've seen and what I've heard from from her, uh, I, the one that probably will will uh, keep my vote. I really think that uh, she will be able to uh, garner the, you know, minimum. I think it's the 15 percent, you know, threshold that they have to have of the number of people that attend. You know, so if you got 40 people and you have to have uh, a 15 percent of that 40 people to to have a, a group you know whatever um, that would be like six people or whatever so I think that she's got a pretty strong um, ground what do you call it uh, you know the, the sort of the, the uh, ground level whatever I can't think of the right word support here. system support system throughout the yeah. state too you know and I think she's well known and stuff by now so so that's kind of she's been a, around a lot more oh, yeah. than other candidates you know it, Watching on the news, we see, you know, just snippets of this person's here, this person's there. But you know, her, her, oh her support has been mainly out there, and, oh, yeah. and, and her viewers. Oh have yeah, been she's, she's got quite a variety, that's for sure. You know, in terms of the of the different people that uh, she's got working with her and for her, you know, in the state too, the, to help right now because she's not, you know, not in Iowa. None of the senators are, so. Yeah, I think she's got a good network going for her. What do you think about uh, their, their self-censoring of other candidates like Yang or, or uh, Tulsi Gabbard? Uh, have you have you been watching how they they kind of sneak treat each other? Oh yeah, I've I've seen some of that. I <laughs> I think that's you know politics as usual. I I don't necessarily like it, you know, whatever, um, you know. But that's that's unfortunately the way. The way it works sometimes, I don't see her doing a lot of that. Um, she she's pretty straightforward. She doesn't try to really hide anything. That's another characteristic I like about her. She'll she'll kind of tell it like it is as she sees it, you know. And um, I I kind of admire that in a person if they if they uh, you know. And one of the biggest things she has going for her too is um, she's very enthusiastic and she really everything um, that I've picked up over the last however many decades, you know, here I'm turning 70 this spring here, and, and I'm thinking back to all the, all the, uh, you know, elections that I voted in, you know, and one of the things that stands out is, you know, you, you can look at all the information too, but 
kind of sometimes, and especially in a field this this broad, it kind of gets down to your gut feeling about who who is the one, you know, who is the one that you think um, you want to, to put into office, and, and uh, so that's kind of part of it too, you know. Is I think that's sometimes it's a good idea to go with your instinct, you know. Sometimes that's the way you have to do, you know, follow your instincts. So it's part of it. Okay. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Okay. Hey. Very painless, right? <laughs> Short, sweet. You heard it here, Elizabeth Warren, possible. Let's uh, see what happens Monday. That's right. And uh, we'll we'll see what goes on. Y'all be safe.